Mr. Desmond Chu. Question 13, please. Sir, Kampong Admiralty is the first of its kind development which integrates housing for the elderly with a wide range of social, healthcare, communal, commercial and retail facilities. As the name suggests, we hope to foster a Kampong spirit where residents of all ages live, interact and look out for one another. Feedback and outcomes from the project have been positive. For instance, residents indicate that they feel a strong sense of well-being and belonging to their community. They also experienced high satisfaction in terms of ease of mobility, maintenance and safety in their estates. Service providers also reported that the co-location of facilities and close proximity to residents enabled them to form better partnerships with one another, especially when organising intergenerational activities. Following the success of Kampong Admiralty, HDB launched the next integrated development, Heart of UT, at UT Close in 2021. This development will integrate housing for the elderly with community facilities such as a hawker centre, polyclinic, community club and a kidney dialysis centre. HGB will continue to explore opportunities to develop more such vertical kampongs to foster stronger community bonds among Singaporeans, taking into consideration the availability of suitable sites and the needs of residents. Beyond launching such integrated developments, HDB also takes a concerted approach in designing our residential spaces to encourage intergenerational bonding and bringing greater convenience to our residents. For example, by co-locating childcare and elder care facilities, where possible, in new BTO developments. For the upcoming November BTO exercise, we will be launching our second community care apartments pilot situated within the health district at Queenstown. The community care apartments will be built together with the BTO flats in the same precinct, promoting intergenerational bonding as seniors living at the community care apartments and younger families living nearby will all be part of the same community. Mr Desmond Chu. I thank the Minister for his response. I have two, uh, two points for clarification. The first one is clearly there is very strong demand for such integrated projects. Um, I'd like to ask the Minister what is the approximate demand and whether we'll be able to supply and meet that demand for vertical kampongs around the islands. Certainly, many of the residents in Tampines do look forward to that. Um, the second point of clarification is uh, very glad to hear about the different uh, community care type of housing that are being built. Um, obviously, taking into consideration that uh, it's not possible to build all new ones. Uh, what is the scope for to repurpose existing flats by adding new facilities to create them into kampongs, um, even within existing flats? Thank you. Uh, as, I, as I mentioned, uh, uh, integrated kampongs like Kampong Admiralty and upcoming Heart of UT are. Uh, efforts to vertically integrate services that we think would be uh, beneficial to our seniors and beneficial to intergenerational bonding and also beneficial to social and community partners who want to work much closer together to support our seniors. Um, these kinds of developments, we've got one, one more coming up. We will look at opportunities to develop more where possible, but again, it de depends on land availability. And as we study uh, the first and, of course, upcoming Heart of UT project will continue to glean learnings from that as we look for opportunities to try out further integrated kampong type uh, amenities. Uh, but principally, they also save land by maximizing the plot of land. Uh, the member asked about uh, whether it is possible to repurpose existing flats. That, that has been our effort all this while. And for seniors, there are a whole range of options. Aging in place, as I discussed earlier with uh, MP Liang Eng Hua, uh, both living in your existing flats and having uh, monetization options, but also downsizing to a smaller flat and getting a silver housing bonus. For those who live in situ, uh, uh, we have the enhanced, uh, uh, the, the ease program, uh, uh, the enhancements for active uh, seniors, 
where we put in grab bars, non-slip flooring, the toilet, uh, ramps, and, and even in the front of the house or the flat, uh, wheelchair lifters and ramps for wheelchairs if necessary. Uh, and we'll continue to study what more can be done in order to make our homes more senior friendly. And in that regard, HDB works very closely with the Agency for Integrated Care and with the community uh, to support our seniors living in situ, living in their existing flats. Uh, but already we have in the community um, active ageing centres, elder care centres that provide uh, programming as well as some degree of care for our seniors. And that is work that we do very closely with the Ministry of Health and with the Agency for Integrated Care. And we will continue to see how we can further strengthen that tie-up between the social and community facility for seniors uh, surrounding uh, uh, partners and, and community agencies uh, and our seniors.